Hey guys, this is a basic video on how we can do the scheduling with Spring Boot. Okay, so I have one job which is going to ping every 10 seconds. Okay, that means I'm going to print something to the console for every 10 seconds guys like this. Okay, so how that we are going to see the steps and all first let me show you the output then we'll see what all are the steps we need to follow. As you can see here, I have started executing the uh, Spring Boot application. Now you could see there's a one hello at uh, 57th minute 0 seconds and it should again call by itself at 10 seconds after 10 seconds, 57 minutes, 10 seconds. And there will be one more hello after uh, 20. That means after 10, you could see here. So that that means for every 10 seconds, this method is getting called. OK, so this is called scheduling, guys. So I have scheduled a uh, method, a job here to call to call for every 10 seconds. So most of the times in our project, we'll get this requirement like by the end of every fourth night at by the end of every week, by the end of every month you know, generate this report and attach it in the email. So this scheduling every four to night, every month, how we can, how we are going to do. That means that scheduling by itself will happen. How is going to happen that I'm going to show here. Uh, there were two methods guys. First thing is you need to remember two tags here. First, we have this main method, right? Go to the main method here and in the main method, this is my main method guys. So here you need to add a tag called enable scheduling. This is the first tag and the second tag is in your service method. You should schedule this. Okay. Those are the two things we need to remember guys that we'll see how and out. So in my main method, I have scheduled this one, right? Now I'll come to the controller. This I have already I have it. So uh, let me create similar to like this. Okay. This is my controller method guys. So in the controller, let me create something like public void. Uh, I will void anything is fine. Okay. Public void schedule to SCHE schedule to as I already have the one method. So I'm going to do schedule two. Okay. And here simply uh, in schedule two, what I'm going to do? Well, simply I'm going to put a small message to the console. Okay. So that part to do it, I have a service IMPL method guys. So I have created one repository, one package here called service IMPL. Here I have a uh, Java class called service IMPL that is a schedule IMPL sorry okay here if you see schedule IMPL class I made this as a service with the help of at the rate service okay I hope you guys you know able to follow me here simple I went to the controller class I have created one method I have not tagged both of them until now okay simple after that I went, I created a service IMPL package. Then in my scheduled IMPL class, I have made this as a service. Okay. Now I will create a method, something like public void display one as I already have display. Okay. Here, let me type something like sysout uh, scheduling every 10 seconds okay every 10 seconds but how do I show that part well, before that let me configure this one in the uh, controller so here yeah, if you see I already imported this so with the help of schedule IMPL dot display one okay so from here it will go open the implementation and it will call here but this should call for every 10 seconds right how it should happen well for that we have a annotation called scheduled 
schedule annotation and the parameter I'm going to use is a clone expression guys so for this purpose I am going to put this link in the description guys which is the improved clone expression here we'll have this six stars as a uh, string as a string variable that we are going to pass okay here uh, let me explain it here six stars we have right so I am going from left to the right side. What is a, is a basic one we have? We have seconds. After seconds, we'll get minutes. So the second star represents the minute. The third star will represent the hours. Fourth star will represent after hours. What we'll have? We'll have the hours means then the next thing is days. So 0 to 1. Once we have the days, uh, 0 to 31. Okay, okay, okay. Simple seconds minutes hours days months and the week okay so something like week representation is something like from monday to monday to sunday okay if i wanted to display a message uh, for uh, every five seconds okay what i am going to do star will represent everything i wanted five seconds right so by five then star that is for every five seconds minutes hours days for all the days for all the months for all the weeks that is how i am going to display similarly if i wanted to call a method for every two minutes what i am going to do star this is for every seconds star by two then star for every hour every uh, day every month every uh, week okay so first i as i said in the example we are going to ping for every 10 seconds right so i am going to prepare a chronic exp cron expression like star by 10 that means for every 10 seconds i will for every minute every hour every after hour i will get days likewise i will remember after days i will get months after that week so you should get six stars okay and this part you pass it to the expression conic uh, expression here no okay. that's it guys here for our reference it is preparing for every it is calling by itself for every 10 uh, seconds or not i am going to use something like local date time variable something like dt is equal to local date time dot now now this local date time i am going to append it to my sysout dt dot now okay now let's call uh let's rerun our method here so let me call it as a spring boot app actually there is a one more is there so uh both should run at a time now you could see it started uh, executing the project now you could see this is the hello which is called then here the scheduling is also called okay now you could see scheduling is called at 10 and now it's a 28 second then the hello is also called so both jobs are getting called 20 after the 30 seconds likewise it is going to call by itself okay now let me try to change the cron expression here i hope you guys understood by this time okay let me go into change it like this let's see what is going to happen every uh, two minutes like that i am going to see a nice spring boot app
now you could see it is so it is getting call for every two seconds it seems okay okay just a minute just a minute star minute will get 60 minutes right so 60 uh, so we'll have something like this at right? 0 to 59 okay that means we'll get for every uh, 60 minutes sorry that means 60 so we have to you know uh, be little confidence here guys let me try so guys i have now uh, scheduled for every minute here just don't uh, read this text this you uh, omit it but if you see here 22nd minute 23rd minute i am triggering and it will trigger at 24 as well let's see that so uh, after that i am going to explain the expression crown expression i have written so yeah uh, let's wait this should be pretty simple guys uh, but only thing is cron expression it will take little bit of time for us to get used to it that's it i just like you guys i am also learning so after here now it should get called uh, it should call now now you could see 24 right so here how the scheduling happened is simple at every zero second for every single minute of every hour every uh, day every month every day of the week you schedule a job and this should be uh, zero guys if you wanted to uh, keep something else as well that's fine but yeah uh, but the symbol is like every uh, zero second if you keep 10 here every 10th second of the minute is going to call it okay so only two things to remember in your main method put enable scheduling and in your uh, method where you are implementing the cron expression or the cron job you have to use this annotation called as scheduled only these two annotations mandatory guys and in your controller as well just don't put any mapping here something like get put post don't do anything okay i hope it's informative for you guys thank you so much for watching